Hi, in this video, we'll discuss how to use ITI's Simulation X simulation software to build a model DLL for use in NI Veristand. What we have here is a simple mass spring damper system. So we have a force, which is our source, that will be our input to our model. We have a mass, a spring, and a damper. So our model is all ready to go. The first thing we're going to want to do is configure our simulation parameters. So we'll go up here to simulation, transient settings, and it'll bring up a simulation control panel. From the general tab, we'll want to specify the minimum output step size. So we'll go down here, and we'll see that it's 0 0.001, or one millisecond. What that does is that will specify the model loop rate once it's imported into NI Veristand. So in this case, at one millisecond output step size, our model loop rate will be one kilohertz. The next thing we'll want to do is we'll want to look at our ordinary differential equation solver. In this case, we're using the standard BDF method solver, which is the default when you create a new model. Unlike other modeling environments, we don't have to choose a fixed step size solver for importing to NI Veristand. So I'll go ahead and click OK. Now the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to configure our C parameters to build our DLL. So we'll go to Export, C Code. In this first window in our code export wizard, we're going to want to do two things. We'll specify the project path, or where our, our model DLL is going to go. In this case, I put it on my desktop. And we'll also want to specify the project type. So for use in NI Veristand, we'll want to use an NI Veristand or LabVIEW Simulation Interface Toolkit project type. So we'll click Next. The next window lets us choose our imports for our model. So I'll go here, and I want to have the input be the source of our force for our mass spring damper system. So I'll bring in the source one input by double clicking on it, and we'll click next. The next thing we're going to configure are our outputs, or our out ports for using an Iveristan. So I want to monitor the mass. So what I'll do is I'll bring in the displacement, the velocity, and the acceleration. And again, I import these, these outputs by double clicking on them. So now I have displacement, velocity, and acceleration, and I'll click next. Now the last set of parameters that I want to configure are the actual model parameters. So what I'll do for that is we'll bring in the actual size of the mass as a parameter. We'll also bring in our spring coefficient, and we'll bring in our damping coefficient. And again, these will populate in our model as parameters. So now we've established our imports, our outports, and our parameters. So we'll click Next. And now Simulation X will create C code that we'll use to build our DLL. And you can see I have my status. There were no warnings or errors, so I should be all set. So I'll click Next. Now in this next window, we'll have to specify a compiler to build our DLL. You'll need a C or a C++ compiler for this. Um, in this case, I'm using the Microsoft Visual C C++ Express Edition compiler which is free on the Microsoft Developers Network website. So I'll go ahead and click Build. And now Simulation X will use that compiler to build a DLL function that we'll be able to use in NI Veristand. It's going through all of the C files and the header files, and it's building, a, building our DLL for us. And it gives us a message saying that the mass spring DLL is complete. So now if I go onto my C drive, or my hard drive, I can see I have all of my C files and my header files, and I also have my mass spring DLL here that I'll be able to use to import into NI Veristand. For more information on importing models into NI Veristand, go to ni.com slash veristand slash getting started.